Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Board of Governors, faculty, staff, and very importantly, on behalf of our graduating candidates, I welcome all of you to our fall 2023 commencement ceremony. By the way, candidates, please be seated. Thank you. Now remember, you don't get the degree conferred until after we do that after you come here, okay? So, at this ceremony, we will confer degrees to the candidates from the College of Education, Health, and Human Studies, and the College of Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. We want to welcome all of you today, especially those throughout the world who are watching today's event via our live stream. We are delighted that we can be together to celebrate with our students and their families and friends, no matter where they are located. We will begin our ceremony with the national anthem performed by Emily Moody of Goodyear, Arizona. Emily is a senior pursuing a Bachelor of Music Education in Vocal Music. Kindly stand and face the flag at the rear of the arena. Ladies and gentlemen, our national anthem. So proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the Thank you, Emily. It is now my pleasure to introduce to you the individuals on our stage today. I would ask each to stand and remain standing as they are introduced, and I would like the audience to hold your applause until all have been introduced. Mr. Lloyd Smith, member of the Board of Governors. Mr. David C. Martin, member of the Board of Governors. Mr. Kerry Robinson, member of the Board of Governors. Dr. Larry Bohannon, professor in the Department of Elementary, Early and Special Education, and our commencement speaker today. Dr. Mike Goddard, Provost, Dr. Joel Pugel, Dean, College of Education, Health and Human Studies, Dr. Tammy Randolph, Dean, College of Science, Technology, Engineering and Mathematics. Please join me in recognizing the members of our stage today. Candidates, it is wonderful to be here 
and celebrate this milestone with you. As you prepare to embark on new journeys and pursue new dreams, I want to take a moment to express my heartfelt congratulations and admiration for all of you for what you have accomplished during the time at CIMO. Today, we are conferring a total of over 100, 850 degrees for fall candidates whose names will be added to our roster of over 90,000 alumni since the university was founded. Candidates, today is a momentous occasion. This is the culmination of years of hard work, dedication, and personal growth. Earning your degree has the potential to transform your future and of those close to you. I encourage you to reflect on what this moment means. Think for a moment on your journey here and rejoice on the fact that today you are celebrating reaching the goal. Candidates, as you leave our walls and venture into the world, remember that you are well equipped to succeed. I believe that you have acquired knowledge that extends far beyond the confines of texture and lecture halls. You have gained the ability to question, analyze, and synthesize information enabling you to navigate the complexities of the world you're about to enter. Candidates, you have learned how to learn. My hope for all of you is that you put your abilities and skills to good use. Explore new ways of doing things and strive to be innovative in your thinking and your actions. As you know, at CIMO, we say that our students have the will to do. At CIMO, we believe our students have the commitment and the heart to do what it takes to find success. The above thought is reflected in the words of a famous German polymath, Johann Wolfgang von Goethe, who is known to have said, knowing is not enough we must apply. Being willing is not enough, we must do. And let me repeat that. Knowing is not enough, we must apply. Being willing is not enough, we must do. Now it is time for you to go and do. You are ready. So members of the audience, please join me in a round of applause for these students. Thank you very much, but I'm gonna ask you a favor. Could you show me a bit more excitement? Thank you. That is good, that is good. So how about if we ask the candidates to do the same for you? Candidates, come on, show us your excitement. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Many members of the university's Board of Governors are here to congratulate our candidates and to celebrate their accomplishments. To bring you greetings from our board is Mr. Lloyd Smith. Mr. Smith was appointed to the Board of Southeast Missouri State University by Missouri Governor Mike Parson in January 2020. Mr. Smith served as the Executive Director of the Missouri Republican Party until his retirement in 2013. He served as Chief of Staff to both U.S. Representative Joanne Emerson and the late U.S. Representative Bill Emerson, totaling 28 years of service to Missouri's 8th Congressional District. Mr. Smith coordinated legislative federal funding for the River Campus, 
the Cape Girardeau flood wall mural, the Limbo Federal Courthouse, and many others. He was the Missouri political director for George W. Bush's presidential campaign in 2004 and advised over two dozen legislative candidates. Mr. Smith was the first in his family to attend college and is a 1973 graduate of Southeast Missouri State University where he earned a Bachelor of Science in secondary speech education. His wife, Marlis, a retired teacher, is a Southeast alum. They are the proud parents of three children, Trista, Samuel, and Tiffany. Please join me in welcoming Mr. Lloyd Smith. You know, I just shook, shook hands with the president and I told him I'd do the right thing. You know, they gave me these notes here. Uh, have you ever had notes you didn't follow 100%, maybe? Well, I'm gonna give you a little story. One of them is 50 years ago, this past May, I graduated from Southeast Missouri State. I'd been married about six months and it was a highlight of my life. And my dad had a ninth education. My mother died at 12 and I wanna tell you, College made a difference. I'm going to share some notes with you in a minute, but I'm also going to give you a little bit of a challenge. In the 20s, there was an author named George Bernard Shaw. Now, I'm going to give you the quote he wrote in the play called Methuselah, and you can actually look it up on Google. I actually had to look up in Bartlett's notes or quotes or something, but later on it was made famous in the 1960s by a family that was very, very political and very, very well known and faced many, many tragedies. But here's the quote, and I want you to think about what they were saying in the 1920s and what the Kennedys said in the 1960s. Some men see things as they are and ask why. I dream things that never were and ask why not. In 1973, I got a key. The key was what you're about to receive today. You've earned it. It's your graduation from Southeast Missouri State. It'll open doors for you. But what you do with that key and which doors you go through is up to you. So I'm gonna give you 10 little two-letter words to live by, and they're real simple. If it is to be, it is up to me. It's up to you what you do with that key that you're going to receive today. Members of this class of 2023, I'm extremely pleased to represent the Southeast Missouri State Board of Governors. The Board of Governors is a governing body of the university and is comprised of seven individuals and a student representative, all appointed by the govern governor. As a board, we're charged with uh, picking the president of the university, employing faculty and staff, and making budgetary policies, decisions necessary to implement the university's mission. My colleagues and I are committed to ensuring you, our students, are among the best prepared in the world so you can help shape the future and successfully complete in today's global society so you can take that key that you're getting today and open those doors of opportunity. We're delighted to congratulate you on your academic accomplishments, your hard work, your intensive study, and commitment have, have really paid off. We're extremely proud of your accomplishments and we wish you the best in the future endeavors. Now let me introduce you to one of my colleagues. He actually represents the largest industry in the state of Missouri, agriculture. David Martin, a wonderful person, but also a great farmer. They've not only done things on their own farm, but they have shipped products from their farm all around the world to feed others. Mr. Martin was appointed to the, by the Missouri Governor Mike Parson in January of 22. Grew up in Southeast Missouri and has worked on his family farm since the late 70s. He attended Southeast Missouri State University and earned a Bachelor of Science in Agribusiness. He has served on the Missouri Rice Advisory Board since 2007, the Missouri Rice Research Merchandising Council since 2015, serving as chairman since 20. He has served on the Rice Foundation and also on the U.S. Rice Federation Task Force since 2020. He currently lives in Bernie, Missouri, 
and serves as owner and operator of Martin Grain Company, Martin Land Grading, and Martin Rice Company. Please help me represent and give to you David Martin, representing Agriculture and Southeast Missouri State University on our board. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm honored to be with you today to introduce commencement speaker, Dr. Larry Bohannon. Dr. Bohannon is a professor in the Department of Elementary, Early, and Special Education, serving as the elementary program coordinator. He was taught in the areas of literacy, field supervision, educational psychology, and autism at both the graduate and undergraduate levels. He received honors, honors faculty status and has served as a senator on the faculty senate for 14 years. Dr. Bohannon holds a PhD summa cum laude in administration and higher learning from, from SIU Carbondale. He also has a bachelor of science magna cum laude from Murray State as well as masters and specialty degrees both summa cum laude from Southeast Missouri State University. Dr. Bohannon joined the university in 2007 and has received multiple awards for his work, including the Provost's Award, Outstanding Advisor Award, Greek Week Professor of the Year, College Teacher Effectiveness Award, College Professional Growth Award, and College Service Award. He also received the prestigious MSTA Emeritus Award and the Southeast Missouri State University Emeritus Award during his 28-year tenure at Sykeston Public Schools. He cherishes his first year teacher award in that, from 1976 to 77. At Southeast, Dr. Bohannon has served as faculty supervisor or sponsor of the Student Missouri State Teachers Association, as well as co-sponsor of Kappa Delta Pi. He has published in numerous academic journals and has also made presentations throughout the United States. Currently, Dr. Bohannon is the president of the Missouri Unit of the Association of Teachers Educator, Teacher Educators and serves in many other professional organizations. Dr. Bohannon is married to Sheila Williams, married Sheila Williams, also a SEMO alum. They are both first generation graduates and have two sons, Chris and Clint, who are also SEMO graduates. They have three grandchildren, Cole, Noel, and Melody, who we hope will also be future CMO graduates. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me to welcome Dr. Larry Bohannon. Long ago, in a state nearby, a speech professor taught me that there were only three ingredients for a great speech. One, have a hook. Two, have a message. And three, have the sense to make a choice with a dash of humor. I want you to close your eyes and I want you to listen to the lyrics of Bob Seeger. Just take those old records off the shelf. I'll sit and listen to them by myself. Today's music ain't got the same soul. I like that old time rock and roll. Still like that old time rock and roll. That kind of music just soothes the soul. I reminisce about the days of old with that old time rock and roll. I have been reminiscing ever since Dr. Vargas asked me to speak. And I see my younger self sitting out there in the class of 1981 getting a master's degree in administration. I see my younger self sitting up here in 1991 getting a specialist degree in administration with an emphasis in superintendency. But I never, ever saw myself standing here today. So I ask myself, how do you relate to the class of 2023? Do I 
TikTok? Do I X? And then it dawned on me, by George, I got it. I'll just text them my message. Seriously, you can surmise I have been an educator for a long time. 47 years, duly employed this month. And before you do the math, I started at age three. I teach on this wonderful campus, wonderful students such as you. Some of them are sitting amongst you. And I teach them how to write a lesson plan. <laughs> and the first ingredient is a hook. I've taught them to use music, props, videos, and I also have taught them that they have to add the instruction part. And the second ingredient for a great speech is the message. And I would like to do a rendition of a poem by Karen Mills. And I have written permission from Karen Mills because I'm an educator and I know all about plagiarism. <clears throat> Here's the poem. Shakespeare has written about all life's woes. I've read Whitman, Blake, and Edgar Allan Poe, but they're deep. I make no excuse. I relate better to Dr. Seuss. You have brains in your head. You have feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself in any direction you choose. Oh, the places you'll go and the seeds you'll sow. Please never forget your time at S-E-M. As you embark on your life ahead, here's a little light that I might shed. Respect is something that you have to earn. Don't hold a grudge or let bridges burn. Hold tight to your dreams. Don't ever sway or you could spend 40 years reliving Groundhog Day. You're not defined by the size of your thighs. Listen to your heart, because it never lies. Embrace your differences. It's the distinction you got. Never try to be something you are not. And be of service. Help your fellow woman and man. You don't have to do much. Just do what you can. Sometimes the greatest gift is the gift of your time, and you can give that if you can't spare a dime. A promise is a promise, and yours to keep. Make your word your bond set in concrete. And look people in the eyes whenever you meet, and that, my friend, are words you can tweet. Be grateful, say thank you, and always be kind. Extend a hand when someone falls behind. And don't judge others who are not like you. You don't know anyone till you walk in their shoes. And when all seems lost, hear me say, have a little faith, miracles happen every day. And when life is unfair, just turn the page, things I wish I'd known when I was your age. Life's not about all the stuff you can acquire. Only love can lift you higher. And money, it means nothing without your health. That's the advice I give my younger self. So you, as you leave today with your future so bright, get out there and shine your light. But remember, never take more than you give. And at the end of your life, you will know that you have lived. Congratulations. You made it. Tempus fugit, Latin for time flies. And it does, doesn't it? You just get started. And before you know it, comes the time to say goodbye 
and embark on a new future, a future filled with wonder and awe. And as a parent myself, I know your parents saw you handled stress and you fixed your flaws. So give yourself a pat on the back. This is only the beginning and there is nothing you lack. My wish for you is for you to be a beacon of light in the world. Follow your dreams and wherever you go, please remember Simo. If you ever had me as an instructor in class, then you met Lightning Larry. And as he rode out into the sunset, I can hear him say, blaze a new trail and stay kind. Zing, zing. Thank you and may God bless. You have left me speechless, Dr. Bohannon. Thank you very much for your thoughtful remarks. We appreciate your participation in today's ceremony and your hard work and commitment to our students throughout the years as a faculty member. Thank you again for delivering the commencement address, and I think he deserves another round of applause. Don't you think so? And I think I deserve a pat on my back because of choosing him to be the commencement speaker today. <laughs> so, <laughs> wonderful. At this point, I would like to invite Provost Godard. Yes, we are getting there, right? You want to cross here? Oh, by the way. I brought a witness. <laughs> um, yes, we are going to now proceed with the individual recognition of graduating students. I encourage you to cross the platform, go back to your seats, and give us a few minutes before you exit. Uh, I think you'll be uh, pleased with the end of the uh, ceremony. It won't take too long. So please, Provost. Thank you, Dr. Vargas. Ladies and gentlemen, in the front of your program is a list of candidates who have earned various academic honors. Students who have earned LAT honors or completed the James Stevens Honors Program will have that information displayed below their name on the scoreboard as they cross the stage. A red cord is worn over the left shoulder, denotes an undergraduate student who has earned a perfect 4.0 cumulative grade point average. That is, they have earned the grade of an A on every college course they ever took. In the 150 year history of the university, only 979 of our more than 90,000 graduates earned the right to wear the red cord. Among all 2023 graduate candidates, a total of 24 undergraduate students earned that recognition and a number of them are with us today. I call your attention to their names in the program, and at this time, I ask those 4.0 candidates attending this ceremony to please stand and be recognized. Thank you, you may be seated. So that's quite impressive. These students have taken probably about 40 classes, 40 classes, and they've gotten an A in every one of them. That's not easy to do, right? Requires consistency, requires discipline. So congratulations to those students. And so I have a question for all of you. You may be wondering, did President Vargas get a 4.0 in college? So who thinks that I did get a 4.0 in college? Raise your hand if you think I got a 4.0 in college. Okay. You know me, 
So I did not get a 4.0 <laughs> in college. <laughs> so uh, let's proceed. Uh, <laughs> the graduating candidates are listed in the program according to the college of their major and will proceed to the stage. Will the candidates please join the marshals at the foot of the stage at this time? Marshals, please escort the candidates for graduation to the stage. Madeline Cecilia Ringer. <laughs> Jessica A. Mercer. Brittany Ann Franklin. Amber Nicole Tyler. Grisma Coriarada. Jeel Rakesh Kumar Patel. Prashanti Badri. <laughs> Niha Meskay. Nishan Okrel. Okay. Avinash Yalamanchile. Sechandra Juvardi. Krishna Polan. Rajesh Pandari. Sai Sesh Bonamolo. Anvesh Narala. Akshita Pati. Garum Chandara. Pujita Nanjala. Banu Lakshmi Prakash Reddy Bora.
Sunil Kumar Reddy Kumaradi. Mohammed Faisal Iqbal. Abdul Kabir Mohammed. Shadab Mohammed Shah. Dakota Anna Rose Williams. Samantha Nicole Smith. Tammy Moore. Skyler Ray Diamond. Rebecca Rose Edwards. Jalen Marie Stratman. Molly Dawn Jennings. Caitlin Scarlett McGinnis. Megan Lee Witt. Shimima Sadikola. Carry on, you lay Ellis. Allison Ann Bussy. Austin Michael Borden. Garrett Todd Orr. Cassie Elaine Tanner. Elizabeth Leanne Wolk. Priscilla Hope Dixon. Michaela B. Doomy. Sarah Elizabeth Reckenhaus. Patrick David Slattery. Rachel Elise Lucas. Alumi Richard Oladakun. Katie Germaine McAllister. Allison May Wampler. Leah Burr.
Anna Marie Vaughn. Ashlyn Brooke Christian. Trace Alexander Wheatley. Benjamin Logan Zimmer. Ryan Tackett. Nakia Latrice Hicks. Andrew Michael Boos. Adeline Taylor Johnston. Allison Kelly Apple. Kimberly A. Kelly. Austin Michael Broughton. Michaela Ann Stone. Jordan Mercer. <laughs> Alyssa Brooke Ray. Regan Nicole Peters. Audrey Featon. Ashton Kelly Andrews. Lindsay Sides. Madison Elise Mason. Alyssa Robin Boyd. <laughs> Megan Miana Hines. <laughs> Tierra Marie Thompson. <laughs> Peyton Amlong. Anne Elizabeth Kreitler. Haley Ray Grass. Carly Elizabeth Thomas. Jeremiah Dale. Allison Marine Coleman. Aldu Rabhan Hashem Bakesh. Abigail Dolores Gray. Taylor Elaine Fox. Woo! 
Ryan Teresa Borelli. Gabrielle Jean Gescheidmeyer. Avery Cameron Rungi. Maria June Renee Bozada. Kaylee Nicole Bell. Jackson C. Diebold. Mara Lane Golden. Jordan Schuyler Gun Dunn. Braden Ray Spees. Garrett Christian Smith. <laughs> Brendan Robert Pratt. Lauren Vivian Diebling. Alexandria Grace Little. Sarah E. Hutchison. Caitlin Noel Cruz. Emily E. Steinkamp. Macy Elizabeth Eisenbart. Morgan K. Keller. Jenna Elise Watkins. <laughs> Fung Tammy Tun Lee. Sarah Ann Mitchell. Cheyenne Aaliyah Davis. Samuel Antonio Lawson. Alexander Lee Sturgeon. Tyler Lofton. Tiffany A. Kreider. Tommy Ray Forgeson. Dylan Scott Cook. Brittany Elizabeth Williams. Nicole Palmer. Kyle J. Flowers. <laughs> Michaela N. Allen. <laughs> Whitney Renee Hitt. Carly Ann Kempy. (laughs) 
Lindsay Abigail Noel. Kayla Ann Steiger. Allison P. Scoville. Bridget M. Burner. Woo! Jessica Jane Albrecht. Erin Rochelle King. Sarah Elizabeth Bloom. Landon William Burek. Taylor Nicole Wallace. Dakota Cantrell. William Dakota Smith. <laughs> Natalie Atwill. <laughs> Dominic Lewis Walter Untrenner. Javier Gustavo Salas Avendano. Brian Joseph Walsh. Kayla Jade Hope Curry. <laughs> Bree A. Libkeman. Erica Jane Vanderveer. Jesse Curtis William Yount. Andrew Charles Heiser. Kyle William Murray. Maya in Worth. Zebulon Edward Thompson. Connor Alexander Kate. Kimberlyn Dane Fleming. Allison Page Madro. Drake Dewing. Blake Robert Miller. Grace Margaret Bolt. Caden Lee White. Kenna B. Gravit. Joshua James Phillips. Aaron M. Rory.
Leighton Thomas Reinwald. Nathan Ray Burnett. Jack Robert Parks. Diego G. Freire. Michaela Baldoff. Julia K. Ellis. Alexis Lillian Agnes Hudson. Anna Marie Massey. Kimberly Nicole Apt. Taylor Marie Van Amberg. <laughs> Lillian G. Liebig. Holly Denise Roarborn. Elizabeth Laura Stock. Gabrielle Aaron Stewart. Emily Marie Shawl. Alyssa Elaine Jenkins. Maria Louise Marzuko. Michaela Renee Wilkerson. Amariah Michelle Olin. Jessica Mio Ayamizu. Aubrey Elena West. Carly Beth Williams. Ashley Nicole Baker. Rachel Ryan Rothy. Destiny Nicole Maddox. Anna Jolie Sweeney. William Nathaniel Dick. Jeterrence A. Jones. Michaela R. Schilling. Libby Jo Ezel. Katie Ann Cecil.
Stephanie Guadalupe Reyes. Meredith Suzanne Shepper. Madeline Rogacheski. Kristen Marie Seaball. Faith Elisa East. Krista N. Mackey. Samantha Jo Jackson. Delasha Panday. Amanda Michelle Petty. Shoya Zhang. Jasmine Colleen Rodriguez. Emma A. Misko. Haley Elise Williams. Regina D. Scott. Nicole Juliet Silverlake. Esmeralda Joe Gonzalez. Natalie L. Jackson. Morgan Carissa Sollinger. Jada Nicole Easley. Lena J. Smith. Ariana A. Watson. Chastity A. Brock. Autumn Grace Gragg. Abigail Marie Gates. Lakaya T. Trice. Darren Lewis Friedman. Gage M. Gatlin. Jeffrey Oyalaja. Ashton Elizabeth Johnson.
Canaries Anderson. Allison Page Heiss. Brian Lewis Doris Jr. Begonia Mattingly. This is a commercial break. No, it is not. We're waiting for everybody to get around, so. <laughs> We're almost done, by the way, so don't, don't be impatient. <laughs> At this time, I ask all candidates for master's and specialist degrees to please stand and remain standing. <clears throat> President Vargas, I present to you these candidates who have completed the requirements for their respective degrees and who have been recommended by the faculty and approved by the Board of Governors. They are now presented to you for the conferring of their degrees. Thank you. Upon the recommendation of the faculty and by the authority vested in me by the Board of Governors of Southeast Missouri State University, I hereby confer upon each of you the appropriate degree together with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities thereunto appertaining. Congratulations, graduates. You may be seated. I now ask all candidates for associate and bachelor's degrees to please stand and remain standing. <laughs> President Vargas, these candidates have completed the requirements for their respective degrees and have been recommended by the faculty and approved by the Board of Governors. They are now presented to you for the conferring of their degrees. Thank you. Upon the recommendation of the faculty and by the authority vested in me by the Board of Governors of Southeast Missouri State University, I hereby confer upon each of you the appropriate degree together with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities thereunto appertaining. Congratulations, graduates. Now we... We're not quite done. <laughs> We're not quite done, so give me a second. You'll be having a chance to uh, cheer in a little bit, even more. So graduates, in order to reflect the conferral of your degree, please move your tassel from the right side to the left side of your cap. Now we're done. Congratulations.
Wow, this, this is really a cheerful audience we have here. Very good. So I present to you, ladies and gentlemen, the newest graduates of Southeast Missouri State University. Thank you very much. So please be seated. We're almost done now. So I just want to thank the members of our commencement committee for their hard work to organize and coordinate today's ceremony. And I also want to thank, and I think you'll agree with me, our outstanding readers, Dr. Gina Koch, Assistant Professor in the Department of Nursing, and Mr. Bart Williams, Associate Professor in the Department of Theater and Dance for their great job in reading the names of all the candidates. <laughs> College graduates. Ah, you notice I didn't say candidates, I say college graduates, yes? You have graduated and now you're officially alumni of Southeast Missouri State University. You're part of a community of proud Southeast graduates and I encourage you to reach out to other Southeast alumni and connect with them. You would be surprised to know how many successful careers start by connecting with fellow alumni. And make sure that you remain in touch with our alumni office and with the Office of Career Services. At Southeast, we employ more than 1,000 regular faculty and staff. Over 80% of our faculty have the highest academic credential in their field. Each of them is committed to helping students learn and grow intellectually. Many of our faculty and staff were also students at Southeast and sat in the chairs that you are sitting in today. They work daily to continue their professional development, to advance in their discipline, and to help you succeed. Our faculty are the reason Southeast has been granted over 30 program-specific accreditations which speaks to the quality of the degrees being granted here today. Several of our faculty and staff are here to celebrate with you and wish you well as you leave Southeast and begin your careers. Their commitment to your welfare, both academically and personally, takes them well beyond the requirements of their jobs. And because they're here at this time, I would like to ask all members of our faculty and staff to please stand and be recognized. Thank you, please be seated. So now, I'm sure that you all agree Dr. Bohanon did an excellent job, right? So normally, I finish this ceremony by reading a poem, but he beat me to it. And so I hope he doesn't mind if I do the same. I'm gonna read a brief poem my poem is going to, it's not mine, but it's going to be a poem that's very short, very short. And it's called, it's called Come to the Edge. And it's supposed to have been written by English poet Christopher Logue. And those of you who were by the UC probably saw the name Christopher Logue on one of the walls. So it's a brief poem. I want to ask you to pay attention because it's very brief. It may just go too quickly. So, here it is. Pay attention. Come to the edge, he said. We can't. We're afraid, they responded. Come to the edge, he said. We can't. We will fall, they responded. Come to the edge, he said. And so they came. And he pushed them. And they flew. Okay. So, so I'm gonna read it again. Now pay attention, please. Okay? And think. 
Come to the edge, he said. We can't, we're afraid, they responded. Come to the edge, he said. We can't, we will fall, they responded. Come to the edge, he said. And so they came and he pushed them and they flew. Isn't that great? So, graduates, today you have come to the edge. And we are pushing you. And now, Red Hawks, extend your wings and soar. Okay? So, ladies and gentlemen, I ask you one final time, because this is your last chance, to show these new graduates how proud you are of what they have done. I must say to you, this audience is great. I mean, they really have outdone the other ones. So congratulations. That was perfect. Fantastic. So now you can all go and celebrate. But before that, we will now conclude the celebration with the singing of our alma mater. The words of our alma mater are printed in your program. And we will be led again once more by Emily Moody. Following the alma mater, I ask that you all remain seated while the stage party, faculty, and graduates exit the arena, and you then may exit as directed by the marshals. Would you please rise? <laughs> 